And the reason why this is extremely important, it is because there's a whistleblower that has come forward with very credible information that we need uh, Christopher Ray's cooperation with. And this information involves something that many people have known for a very long time in Washington, D.C. We're wondering exactly what this is all about. And that is of Joe Biden and his family members' extremely corrupt financial transactions with foreign countries and foreign nationals. We're wondering exactly what this is all about. According to a, a press release that was sent out by James Comer's office, it says the information provided by a whistleblower raises concerns that then Vice President Biden allegedly engaged in a bribery scheme with a foreign national. He goes on to say the American people need to know if President Biden sold out the United States to make money for himself. Senator Grassley and I will seek the truth to ensure accountability for the American people. Uh, well, that really whets our appetite as to exactly what, what this is all about. Does this have to do with Hunter Biden's foreign business dealings in Ukraine or China, or is it something else? Well, I, I guess basically uh, we, we've got to wait to uh, see what, what the document exactly says, but I convinced that uh, we've got to get this detail, and at this time uh, the FBI needs to explain whether it's accurate or not. But uh, this is based upon uh, information that we get from what I think are very credible uh, sources within the uh, department. Senator, who, who do we think the, the other country is? They, we, we, we knew the Chinese connection and, and all that, but this is, a, this is something new. Do you have any information on that? I do not. I don't have any information on what the whistleblowers has alleged in terms of the specific substantive allegations. We're wondering exactly what this is all about. There is documentation that the FBI has. And I just say again to those Democrats here, out there screaming about how Joe Biden is innocent. Joe Biden hasn't done anything. Well, fine. Then show us what you know. Show us what the evidence is in the allegations. Don't be afraid of what the facts are. That, Leslie, we, you know, caveat that we don't have any uh, hard information. This seems more direct, at least in what's being said by Grassley and Comer. Well, this is, after all, if there's anything to it, is is about Biden himself and not simply his son and maybe through him through his son. On the other hand, we don't know who the whistleblower is. We don't know what foreign country was involved. We don't know how much money was involved, if any. We don't know what the specific influence uh, that was being sought to do. In other words, we don't know very much. We're wondering exactly what this is all about. Um, and this is an early stage of this. Uh, it doesn't keep these politicians on the Hill from coming out and talking about it and for the White House to respond. But we need to be careful here because, you know, the air is full of charges, as it sometimes is, and we're entering the political season. So my advice is, let's be careful here. Even far-right fake news clickbait, the gateway pundit, claimed to have information from a whistleblower about this alleged bribery scheme. But then they claimed that the whistleblower suddenly disappeared and they can't access the guy anymore. How convenient is that? They had somebody, they had evidence, and now they don't. Even Geraldo thinks that these whistleblower accusations, this alleged bribery s scandal is completely full of shit. When you don't have Geraldo on your team, when Geraldo's calling you out for bullshit, you know you have a serious, serious problem on your hands. This is now apparently the garbage right-wing fascist tactic is to just make up uh, lies about a, a, a supposed criminal history for Joe Biden and his family, claim they have evidence, claim they have whistleblowers, but then slowly walk that back, um, admitting that they don't have much. But it's just a, a technique to take over a news cycle, to implant uh, ridiculous conspiracy theories in the minds of their base. Their base is going to be talking now about this bribery scandal, um, for the rest of Biden's term, even though nothing is going to come of it, because even they are admitting that they have no details. They have nothing else to go on other than their belief. Chuck Grassley saying that he believes that the FBI has information about a whistleblower. He's asking everybody to take it on faith. Uh, just a far right fascist tactic to try and manipulate the news media by lying about a story, claiming you have evidence but then not showing any of the evidence. It's an absolutely despicable tactic, but one that's uh, one that's typical uh, for the far-right fascist MAGA Republicans in this country. We will see if anything comes out of this. 
but more than likely, this is an absolute uh, scheme to try and dominate the news media. This is also going back to Marjorie Taylor Greene. She's claiming victory on this, saying that this was the reason that she introduced articles of impeachment on Joe Biden's inauguration day, because she knew about this alleged bribery scheme going all the way back to January of 2021. So she's trying to do a victory lap because of Grassley and Comer's uh, subpoena to the FBI, Marjorie Taylor Greene claiming victory today. So absolutely embarrassing, despicable tactics by the garbage right in this country, and nothing's going to come out of this. Uh, But we'll see. We'll see what happens. We're wondering exactly what this is all about.